Welcome back to the laws of Shabbos. We're holding in section 301, Allah 38. So what we're discussing is how do you go out with, with talis into a public domain, from private to, pub, to public on Shabbos. So now will be the discussion about a um, person that goes out with money. When a person goes out with money that is bound up in the cloth that he is wearing, he is liable, even though he does not hold it in his hand. Because at times, this is an ordinary way for money to be taken out during the week. When by contrast, one goes out with money sewn into his clothes, he is exempt because it, this is not the ordinary way of carrying money. It is nevertheless forbidden to do so by rabbinic decree. This applies when coins and silver and gold that bullion or articles that are not muktze were sewn into his garments. So when there is a danger of loss, for example, a person is among non-Jews and he cannot safely deposit the money with them, nor can he leave the garment in their homes without fear of them stealing it from, stealing it from him when he goes out. It is customary to show leniency and permit one to go out with such articles sewn into a garment. The rationale is that there are authorities who maintain that our sages did not issue a decree prohibiting an activity which is shivus. What is shivus? An activity that is not scripturally forbidden labor, but rather forbidden by rabbinic decree because it resembles a forbidden labor, or may lead one to commit a forbidden labor. So shivus is either a malacha that would lead you to do forbidden labor, and uh, so that's a very concern they might lead you to do forbidden labor, but it's rabbinical, it's not a biblical a prohibition. So when it's, so when performed in this manner, it would, be, it would be okay. That involves a deviation from one's ordinary weekday practice where there is the possibility of a great loss, as will be explained in section 307. Moreover, there are authorities who maintain that at present there is no public domain as defined by scriptural law, only a carmelis. And taking an article into a Carmelis, even in the ordinary manner, is forbidden only according to rabbinic law. Nevertheless, leniency should be granted when it is possible, impossible for the person not to go out to a Carmelis. For example, Carmelis is like a domain in between right. public and private. Public domain, private domain. For example, he is afraid to remain confined in, in the home where he is staying uh, the entire day so that the non-Jews will not sense that he is carrying money and will search his possession to steal the money from him. Or it is possible that his life will be in danger because they will kill him for the sake of his money. If, however, it is possible for him not to go out at all, for example, he is among Jews, but he does not trust them enough to deposit his money with them or to leave his garment in their home, he should remain in the home the entire Shabbos and not go out into it, uh, to, to a Carmelis with money sewn into the garment. If he's not concerned about depositing the money with them or there's no concern about leaving his garment in the home, he should be stringent and remove the garment while it is still there on Friday so that he will not be wearing it on Shabbos even in the home. This is a safeguard lest he forget and go out wearing it as will be explained in section 303. So, so far we learned you should not be going out with money in your pocket on Shabbos. Even in a case of, uh, so far, it's even a case right. of a loss. The only yeah. time the, the, the leniency might be uh, granted is in a case where the money is sewn into the garment. So, it's not a usual way of, of carrying it. But if it's the usual but way of carrying it... Rabbinically, it's still... Uh, be, but rabbinically is still forbidden, but in the case of a great loss, it says you're allowed to, to, to uh, carry it around. Proven to you.